standing next to it beaming, my red curls getting in the way of my neon pink sunglasses. Mm. I wanted to make it mine. Thirty years later, I bought the car from my uncle, but the journey was not as smooth as the ultimate ride. In 1982, my parents brought me cross-country from Minnesota to Philly to visit my uncle Steve, who mom referred to as a yuppie. Having not been exposed to this title before, I assumed it meant a cool guy with wavy hair who looked out for me and teased me in a good humor way <laughs> that made me feel special. One memorable day, Steve took me for a drive in the TR6. He drove fast down the freeway. My feet dangled from the deep, low seat and I could barely see over the dashboard, but I knew we were flying. Steve took his hands off the wheel and laughed, Look, Becky, no hands! He shouted over the deep rev of the car and the roar of the wind. Excited and scared, a rebel with a new cause by association, I never forgot the rush and the freedom of the open road. Steve moved back to Minneapolis, and on visits to his house, I would slip out into the garage and peek under its protective uh, frayed red blue, uh, red, blue, and white cotton sheet, a coincidental nod to the Union Jack. Sometimes, Steve would store the TR in my parents' garage for the harsh Minnesota winter. Dad would take it out in the spring, pulling the choke and persuading the engine, and the beast never failed to rise from its frigid slumber. 